All right, so this is my lesson 13 alternate assignment, and I was going to delve a little more into face saving. And the um, first, I'm going to give some background and context and talk about what the text says about face saving. And so the idea of the face is like a human characteristic where one party has a personality or facade that it wants to present to another party. So face saving tactics are most commonly used in cases where one party has previously interacted with the other party or the party will be interacting with the other party often in the future. Um, the reason for that being that I'm much more likely to um, build a face that I wish to present or continue presenting, whereas on the other hand, um, kind of a one-off interaction or, or something where I won't see someone in the future, I'm, I'm more likely to be more authentic and not build some face or character that I want you to a way to think of me as and so any conflict which would potentially alter the other party's view of my face would result in face saving tactics more often than not and um, the goal there is to preserve a d desired perception of myself that I present to the other party so whereas face saving for me sometimes it feels like I'm being polite um, but the text actually makes a good point about it creating some difficulties in conflict resolution and it usually does this by creating some rigidity uh, in the interaction um, like it makes for the resolution much less flexible and so it also will divert attention away from the root issue which obviously is problematic um, in terms of trying to resolve it and then in a lot of cases two parties revert to a win-lose approach um, which is kind of like all or nothing. Like once I've committed to saving my face, I'm not going to then go back to the issue and maybe take responsibility. I'm going to keep running with that to make sure that my face stays intact since I've already committed to that. Um, and so just to go a little bit deeper into it, um, and I hope that, I guess when I was kind of preparing this, I feel like I got a little bit philosophical, but I still felt like it resonate what I was kind of thinking about resonated with me as it relates to face saving um, and so I think face saving is a concept that a lot of people can identify with in their daily life if they take a close enough look and I think the reason that people struggle with the concept so much is because its core principles of like self preservation and self propulsion are deeply rooted within our culture and you know, kind of the like neoliberal or individualist concept of being self-made and solely responsible for the outcomes in one's own life, um, you know, that I think comes from probably like deeply entrenched um, senses of like capitalism and commodification and stuff in our culture. It kind of that sets the stage for face saving as a sort of defense mechanism. So like when I look at the times that I use face saving as a conflict resolution tactic, it's usually a method to get something I want or avoid um, losing something that I have, right? Avoid having something that I um, have taken away from me. So for example, like if I make an error at work, I might fear for my job security and using face saving to deflect blame or divert the topic away from my mistake um, helps me to keep my job and, and not lose my income. So I believe that a large portion of American culture kind of acts in similar ways. And if two parties are both engaging in face saving tactics, it's only going to perpetuate um, not only that particular conflict, but the very use of face saving tactics going forward, right? Because if I'm using them and you're using them, um, that kind of sets precedent for um, that continuing. As for what to do to kind of combat that or what I try to do um, or have tried to do as I've kind of noticed this when we looked at this lesson is um, I think like in the same way that treating like a medical condition properly um, requires accurate diagnosis. I think that awareness is like for me one of the key facets of beginning to do away with unhealthy face saving tactics um, and maybe replacing them with face giving tactics or just merely learning how to be more honest um, tactfully that is and I also for me I'm working on keeping my ego right sized so to speak which takes a lot of pressure off of me um, to present a certain face or save face and I do that personally through like meditation which I need to make more of a regular practice of but I find that when I can let my thoughts kind of pass more freely I'm less attached to the idea of this face that I'm presenting to the world and obviously 
if I can do that, um, I'm less likely to engage in, in face-saving resolution tactics.